Hi, I'm David. Let's look at this problem. We're given four equations. y equals 1 over 16 minus x squared all raised to the 3 halves, y equals 0, x equals negative 2, and x equals 2, and we're asked to find the area bounded by the graphs of these four equations. Okay, we could plug this into a graphing utility and get an idea of what this curve looks like. If you did that, you might not see very much. This curve, really close to x equals negative 2 and 2, is very, very close to the x-axis. If you zoomed in quite a bit, you would see something that looks like this. From negative 2 to 2, it would do some sort of thing that looks like that. So in this problem, we're asked to find this area uh, between the line y equals 0 for the x-axis, the line x equals negative 2 and x equals 2, and then this curve, y equals 1 over 16 minus x squared to the 3 halves. So really, the area equals the integral from negative 2 to 2 of this function, 1 over the quantity 16 minus x squared all to the 3 halves with respect to x. Okay, now when we see this integral, we might be thinking to ourselves, this looks like a challenging integral. Maybe I should use my table of integrals back in Appendix B. And that's going to work out pretty nicely in this case. Um, we've got a lot of integrals that look like this, a constant minus a variable squared. Um, but we want to look for one specifically that has a constant minus a variable squared raised to 3 halves in the denominator. If you look at your table of integrals, you can find number 45 has this formula. 1 over a constant squared minus a variable squared all raised to the 3 halves. And that's pretty much what we have right here. Let's just identify, if we're going to use this formula, what a is and what u is. In this case, a is going to equal, well, a squared is going to equal 16, so a is going to equal 4. u, well, u squared is going to equal x squared, so u is going to equal x and du is going to be dx. Okay, so this is going to work out perfectly. I'm just going to replace all the x's in this formula, or I'm sorry, all the u's in this formula with x's, and all the a's in this formula with 4's. So according to this formula, number 45 in our appendix B, this integral equals, well, let's see, it's u, which is x, over a squared, which is 16, times the square root of a squared minus u squared. That's 16 minus x squared uh, plus c. But we've got a definite integral here, so we'll evaluate from negative 2 to 2. After we've done that, then we'll have our final answer. Well, if I plug in 2 into this, I'll have 2 over 16 times the square root of 16 minus 2 squared, or 4, Minus, if I plug in a negative 2, I'll have negative 2 over 16 times the square root of 16 minus a negative 2 squared. Well, that's still minus 4. Well, you might notice that these denominators are exactly the same. So I can go ahead and add the fraction together. This is going to be 2 minus a negative 2, or 4, over 16 times the square root of, well, 16 minus 4 is 12. And that's a fine answer. If you'd like to, you could simplify that a little further, canceling out the 4 and the 16, and you have 1 over 4 times the square root of 12. And that's a fine answer here. Thanks for watching.